Good evening all. Welcome, welcome. I hope you can hear me well. Just want to do a quick sound check in here and do share this video in your timeline. Really appreciate that as I'm doing my part also sharing on the video on your timeline. And tonight we'll be talking about sector rotation. We all have seen, right? KLCI have turned green Pentagon. And for the second time, and maybe this is the second time lucky as the market has also turned. But let's take a look at it with our uh, with our very popular VSA 360 dashboard that many had found to able to help them to find great shares and explore new opportunities. So don't forget to share this video in your timeline and let's get started. Now, welcome, welcome to our evening live FB at Martin TFO. This is your host here, Martin. And tonight I'll be sharing some of my very, very personal trades on what we talk about sector rotation, how to look for those trades has bought in. Now, remember last week we were talking about how to find market bottoming. So we have and been very, very sharp on what we've been talking about, the market bottoming in here. And tonight is definitely going to be looking at where is the money is flowing. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we'll be talking about this and we'll be likely to identify couple of sectors that is on and coming and if you don't know make sure you stick right at the end here so i'll bring you through the area where i'll be talking about and looking a couple of shares in here but more importantly is knowing where we are right now of course don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel if you have not done so really appreciate that and also don't forget this is part of our public campaign education that we've been doing really talking about smart money and money movement in here for the month of july 2022 and this week is the uh third week on our live fb is on sector rotation where is the money going or sometimes i call it, where is the money flowing right and i think that's really important in here now of course let's start with the scenario you that you could be in and you know you have a bit of money or you could have sold out at the top but what should i buy this current sector right now should i be looking at energy or plantation since you know it has fallen a bit or now that the market is bottoming like what you say martin maybe i can get back in the energy because you know this russian and uk raw may continue for some time in here and i will really want to buy the right sector to buy is that the right way to do what do you think let me know and pencil those in there. But I think more importantly, I want to share with you what we have found out through our experience is that don't catch a falling knife. Now, don't catch a falling knife is simply basically averaging down on the energy sectors. For example, in here, it has went up, but I'm going to show you a couple of uh, slides to, to convince you that these sector, these two sector plantation and energy may have seen the best of it. But Let's look at the picture that we have here. This is what we talk about money flowing out from the tap, isn't it? That's right. We want the money to know where it's flowing. Is it flowing to the right junk? No, a better and newer method is something that we want to talk about tonight is the sector rotation. This is also better known is where is the money flowing to, all right? Or you like to do it the old way, just going through the scoreboard that you've seen in the uh, uh, trading platform in here and finding shares and trying to come. This is really, really time consuming. But let's take a look at the newer way of doing things. Definitely this new way of doing is looking at the stock screener that we have in here and it will make your life much, much simpler and also easy, easy to understand. So the KLCI right now is really primed for this sector rotation using the VSA 360, using the sector screener that we have in here. So today's sharing is going to be a lot on focusing uh, uh, using the Pentagon Guider system that we have in here and also uh, selecting the right trending stock that is about to move higher. That's right now. And also exiting those stock that has fallen. I think you all by right now would probably know how to exit, isn't it? If you find using the red Pentagon, if not on some sort of confirmed sign or weakness in here or the breakdown of your support and resistance, right? I think that's also more. And next, what do you want to do? You want to able follow. Let me just get this pointer here. Follow where the money is flowing right now. Think of buying when the green pentagon and selling at a target profit in here. And definitely this is suitable for those of you who understand the kind of sector that we are and able to you know, uh, leave those sectors that has fallen and get in to the sectors that is about to move higher. And of course, VSA 360 can identify those stronger economic sectors in here. Now, no doubt the market right now you're experiencing 
Uh, a lot of volatility in here. But as I said before, from last week, talk we talked about market bottom and how to time that perfectly in here. We have done our possible bottom fishing. And now this is definitely a very excellent timing tool tools that you can buy low and sell high. So if you look above here, which jug should I be moving my money flow in? Is it jug A? Is it what's is it uh rubber glove stock? Jug B? Is it technology uh, sector or junk C or maybe going into finance sector? So what junk would you be putting your money in here? Put it in the uh, on the comment on the live Facebook in here. At least share with me so I would definitely know about those. Okay. Now, of course, the traditional method that we all always have, uh, which is the market cycle or economic cycle, don't work so well in the post quantitative easing since 2008. This is where because a lot of time the USFOMC or the Fed chairman has come up with very easy and low uh, interest rate where it has sort of pushed a lot of liquidity into the market. With a lot of liquidity in the market, the market continue to run and run, which we have seen until now where right now we are the era of a high inflation rate. So the US Fed thought of pulling that high liquidity in the market because the balance sheet that we, we have seen in the Federal uh, Federal Reserve has gone too much. We are talking about something like 25 trillion in here. They want to uh, take their foot off the pedal from QE. Do you think it's possible with this rate that is going any time of a higher interest rate, right? This will put a lot of pressure on the balance sheet because they have to pay interest. So a regime or low interest rate. Now, regime or low interest rate would only mean more uh, liquidity into the market. So this traditional economic cycle that you see don't work that well anymore. And also the COVID-19 has misaligned this cycle. The last 36 or 24 months, we have seen the lockdown and uh, traditionally people who who been going to work or industry tend to do well. They don't do so well. Let's take a look example at the travel industry, which almost been totally wiped out. So with this cycle that you see, it does give a little bit of meaning for those of you who want to rotate out the consumer cycle into the healthcare, finance, and so forth. But the um, uh, the oil sector, which we've seen at the market top, is it right? Are we seeing the market top? If you have seen the market, it's not the market top, isn't it, right? Right now, we are seeing energy sector is really into play. But right now, it's because to the Russian Ukraine war. As I said before, this traditional method don't well, but I'll share with you a method that works more. But let's keep it simple first. All right. I think many of you would have known that money flow into the market bottom and money will flow out from the market top. So this is something that you all should really know about this. And it will definitely help you a lot, a lot, make a lot of sense, right? Remember, money will flow into the market bottom and will flow out from the market top. Now, why is this? It's all because of the footprint of the smart money. We all know smart money will try to condition themselves by creating campaign uh, to push uh, stocks higher while buying them at low prices or buying them at stage one accumulation. This is what we call market bottoming. So as they push up higher and higher, where we see uh, crude oil prices has since fallen and also plantation has fallen in here. That means smart money already exited. And let me just share you a bit more on this. So junk A, junk B, and junk C. So those money has already flow out and really to flow into another junk. So think of the market as like another junk. Now, if you look at the overall sector, again, focusing on the Malaysian sector in here, uh, just on top of me here, you will see these are the worst performing sector. Now, if you look at that yearly performance, healthcare, uh, six months and... Uh, and yearly performance, which is above me. In six months, healthcare is minus 25% and yearly performance is minus 40%. Electronics, okay, technology sector, minus 90%, minus 20%. Communication, minus 13, minus 18. Technology services, minus 16 and minus 16. So without a doubt, this could be your first candidate. As I said, we all money will always flow to those market bottoms. So these are your market bottoms, ladies and gentlemen. So this is already your first clue that I'll be sharing with you. So keep in mind. Now, the second clue is really looking at the chart in here. Now, you can see from this chart here, definitely 
uh, let me just bring up here. You can see this is the plantation stock where the market really, really hit uh, all time high, almost touching 7,000. You can see this was a beautiful market top, right? And, and this usually the case is smart money will normally distribute in the top end. Of course, where did the money flow out, right? Money flow out from the market top. So what are those two sectors? Really a plantation and energy sector. So money flow out from market top will be plantation and energy sector. So make sure you pencil those in. How about money flowing in? Where is the money likely to flow in right now? <laughs> Just on top of me here. Technology sectors, right? Of course, we do have the KLCI in here being the benchmark. So this, having said that, it makes a lot of sense right now to know where your money will likely to be flowing into, all right? Money out, money in. Where's mon money going out? Ah, plantation and energy. Where's money likely to flow in? Lightly, yeah, I didn't say mass, ah. It's going to be technology, okay? So those will be the so-called tall tale sign that you can use to put your guidance away, remember? Huh? So of course, money flowing to the market bottom and flowing up from market top, it's all no other than what we talked about last week, market stages. Now we use a double bottom, just like we saw the plantation sector has a double top. So it has to be, some of these are below 200 day moving. And if you look at this, is a traditional Wyckoff stages, market stages, which we'll teach in our course. And by the way, next week, okay, on the 8th of August, we are doing our masterclass. Now, if you have not registered, you might want to register for our mark masterclass, which is happening on 8th of August. And that will definitely bring you up to into new speed about capitalizing on this new market opportunity. If you have done so, so the master cost will be on eight of the, or you can sign up for one of our package in here. Now, this is likely to be the entry that we want to be in, just beginning the start of the campaign of a stage two in here. And then after that, what happens? Just like this rocket ship, it will fly and fly all the way up, right? Of course, I cannot guarantee that this market will, but just imagine over the last three to four weeks. A couple of sessions here, we've been telling all our audience in my morning podcast, those of you following me on my Telegram, that we are at the mock market bottoming. The market didn't go lower, isn't it? Why we know that? Because some of the uh, market, some of the methodology we share with you has worked time and time again. As a matter of fact, it has worked almost the last 100 years in there. So take the word from us, okay, that we have seen enough the market and we know where it's likely the market to be bottoming in here. So definitely, you want to get ready a very good list of stock candidate ready to move higher in here. Now, luckily for us, the market has not moved up yet, right? We will be examining those. So for a start, we have seen the market has really moved down and that was in somewhere January to March. These are what we call stage one. Stage four, okay? Then the market go through a stage one and right now we are probably in stage A, that's where I said before, market has not. But of course, there are some stocks, individually or some sectors, has already moved up this level in here, right? So we want to be capt capturing big part of it at the beginning of a stage two. And you don't want to get things at the end of stage three, right? End of stage three, that is where likelihood uh, the uh, plantation stocks and also the crude oil stock did piracy and that was a good area to exit. These are the area you want to be going in at point B if the sector or the stock has already moved out or at end of stage one, which is the accumulation and you're seeing that will be point A here, okay, point A. So I'm going to introduce this sector 360 sector rotation. I know it's a bit small in here, but kind of bear with me. I'm going to go through all these steps in here. And for our members, you can get a full set of the trading rules available uh, tomorrow onwards from our VSA 360 Knowledge Center. So remember, members or plucky members of Masterclass has its privileges, but I'm going to go through all these rules in here so you will probably understand. So let's take a look at step one first. Okay, step one, we want to determine the overall market sentiment and direction here. Okay, we want to check the KLCI, whether it's green or red, right? And we want to check the background, the VSA 360, to see that it is actually in stage one or beginning of stage two. What the world? Really, the, and the thing is, what is that we are watching out for? We are watching out for green pentagon. When it's a green pentagon, likelihood, it's going to be a very good uh, probability the market will go. But be careful when the market is red pentagon. And to do that, we're going to be using our VSA 360 here. So I'm just going to bring up our VSA 360 in here. You can see the, those of you who have this 
uh, our members, you can always log into the uh, system. In there. And if you don't have it, not to worry, we have a 10 day free trial where you can also uh, get uh, good use of it as well as our 30 minute training. And what do you have to lose, right? Just a little bit of experience using the VSA 360 in here. Now, if you can see from what we have in the chart here, so far we have uh, KLCI is at Green Pentagon, okay? So KLCI here is Green Pentagon. You can see this is Green Pentagon. The uh, Dow Jones, sorry, the Dow Jones is also Green Pentagon. Only Hang Seng is red. And I think the Singapore is processing, so it's missing in here. It should be in, in shortly right now. But what we want to focus is the Pentagon Guider in here. Now we can see in here, you can open this up. And immediately we have the chart in front of you in here. And what we're going to see is that did we see some sort of stage one and the market actually turned green pentagon on the 18. So you want, once you open this, you can see this on the 18, right? That's where you have this stage one. And what are we looking for? We are also looking for sign of strength on the left hand side of the chart. You can see here, we got a line change. We got spring, we got test, we got a couple of springs here. We got no form. Uh, 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 sorry, confirm no supply. So those are really strength coming in into the market. Of course, when the market break back up to 1470, this is where you see the media, the social guru, all the stock market uh, remiser. We'll be talking about it, but guess what? You're the first one who knows and hear about it with our green Pentagon. And of course, you can also check out the Singapore chart here. Okay. Okay, this is a Singapore chart. You can see Singapore chart today, uh, 20th. Oh, also turned green Pentagon. You can see also turned green Pentagon already. So that's nice that everything's turning green Pentagon. A nice breakout today in here. And it looks like you know, they, they took out the last high, which is the uh, 3150. So, okay, good. We can also look at Hang Seng. Hang Seng, it's about, let's switch to a three month chart here, clicking it. It hasn't turned uh, green Pentagon yet. So we know Singapore, Malaysia has turned green Pentagon in here. So this one, not yet. We can turn over to Dow Jones and remember switch to a three month chart here. And you can see uh, Dow Jones has actually turned much, much earlier yeah, to hitting 3150 in here. And also, as I said before, broken the 40 day moving average. You can see the last round where they had uh, resistance in here. And this is an interactive chart, we can move it. So you don't really need to do, go to the plugin. You can pretty much get everything over here. And the market has broke through. And let's take a look at the NASDAQ, which is a very popular chart. And we go to a three month in here. Again, similar story broke through in here. So you can see this pattern. Singapore is coming soon uh, and Hong Kong is coming soon, but US take the lead. Remember US is like Taiko, huh? <laughs> Taiko moving up and then Malaysia will probably come up in here. So that's really one of the benefit using our VSA 360 with our dashboard. So now that we have your attention in here that knowing which market is going to be, let's look at the second rules that we have here. Okay, so I'm just going to bring up the uh, bigger chart here and you can see, right, this one here. So this one will give you a better picture, right? So next we want to do is just to expand this a bit, right? This rules here. So the next one, we're going to be looking at the sector. Okay, so we want to find out which sector has green pentagon and red pentagon, and then sort out by the highest trend to the lowest trend. Why do we do that? Now we're doing that is to find out which sector is bullish compared to KFCI. Remember KFCI is just the benchmark in here. And remember the other sectors are still bearish. Remember money flow out from the from the market top of those sectors that we talk about and into the market bottom of those uh, of those sectors that hasn't moved up yet. Notice the KLCI is a benchmark and uh, placing higher strong trend. So what we're gonna do in step two is to look at the sector specific, uh, sector specific in here before step three, we will narrow down, okay? Narrow down in here. So let's take a look at the uh, sector specific, okay? Okay, let me just get this. So we want to go down to the next one is to look at the sector specific. Okay, so we will go from here and we go to our VSA 360 and you can see this is highlighted on 20th September. Uh, definitely right now you can see technology has turned green Pentagon, isn't it? That is one of the reason why and it only turned one day ago. You can see one day ago and some of those you can still sort this 
right? And uh, you go by Pentagon, right? Consumer has turned green Pentagon. Finance has turned green. Construction, utility, technology, energy, KLCI. Those are still in red are plantations. And this has fallen out because why? Money already flow out, ma, all right? So the rest of those sectors that money has not flowing, they are going to go in yet. Of course, we want to be looking at technology. So click on technology in here, and then we'll go on to the three month chart, which should come out now in here. I, I know some, a lot of our members are actually logging in here, and we just have to wait for the, yep, here it comes out in here, and you can see it just turned green. So technology, baru, baru datang saja. Huh? So you can see, just now we are looking at the KLCI, we are looking at the SGX, we are looking at the NASDAQ, and we are looking at Hang Seng. It's to give us the kind of feel where the market is. Now you can look at it. This one is turning green, depending on belum datang, but akan datang, and money is likely to flow into technology. That's one example. Second one, we want to be looking at just turn on here, technology and energy. Uh, energy also got green pentagon. Is that a, is that coming back? Oh, we have one right at the bottom in here, but we have to wait for a while first. Huh? Let's take a look at uh, the one that uh, just turned recently, 20 days ago, construction. We can look at industrial product. Okay, industrial product actually turned to, uh, just turned today, yes. Right here, turn today in here. Because this one has already been beaten down a lot, right? Isn't it? Of course, health, healthcare, we can look at it too in here. But we just want to focus on one or two sectors for the time being. So we know industrial product is definitely one. Let's look at healthcare too. Healthcare, click on this one here. And you can see healthcare. Oh, goodness. It's coming soon. You can see here, right? No green pentagon. It's been down, 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 down. Since April, all the way, we are waiting for that green pentagon. And you notice we have two up trusts here. Those are sign of weakness. We got one test, sign of strength, uh, no demand, confirm no, de uh, confirm no supply in here, which is a sign of weakness and lots of spring. So that tells you the market has formed and also we have seen a double bottom in here. That is for the uh, KL Healthcare. All right, KL Healthcare. Let's take a look at another one. Let's look at con uh, consumer, okay? And you can see consumer. Oh, this is a nice, nice what we call uh, saucer, right? Remember, saucer and handle, we got a saucer in here. And if we that this market break out this old high here, then we were likely to see another movement of an up mark. So what do we have in mind? Huh? We have seen uh, uh, the consumer, we have seen technology, okay? Consumer technology and uh, also uh, the industrial product, okay? So we have three now, industrial product, Finance, okay, okay. Finance is going down. Industrial product, technology, and we have consumer. Yes, consumer. All right. So we have three sectors in here. So keep that in mind. So next, we're gonna go on to our here and go on to narrow it down. Okay. Now we go to step three. So we're gonna narrow it down. Find two or three sector. We found it right. What are two or three sector? Technology, consumer and industrial product. Now, of course, we can use the VSA 360 uh, weekly analysis in here to find out even drilling down. And what do I mean by that? So we can go on to the next one, which is this sector in here. You can click this up. And here is where we are seeing, look that consumer last week is getting stronger, isn't it? Right, this is last week. As you can see, this is the 12th of July. This is 19th of July, so which means it's getting stronger. Finance is getting stronger. Healthcare is getting stronger. Uh, uh, telemedia, utilities, uh, REITs, construction. How about the others? Technology definitely was getting even stronger, but it's still behind KL Composite. So these are the one that is likely to move from the right side of the chart to the left side of the chart. So the money is flowing out, flowing into this side and flowing to the right hand side. So from then onwards, we can say consumer, uh, we can see uh, the industrial product and also technology sectors. But I always, if it, and then going back to this chart here, now if you're really busy, as I said before in here, if you're really busy, just focus on one sector, all right? So for tonight, for due to the time constraint that we had, we will focus on technology. Of course, if you have more time, you can actually focus two or three. And the whole point is to look for a couple of stocks from these two or three sectors where we likely to see money flowing in, all right? So we, we've done this one, step three. Now let's go to step four. So from step four, we want to narrow it down from our part. We want to narrow it down to the market leader of the sector. Right? Keyword here, 
market leader of the sector. Again, we only look for two or three market leaders uh, sector in here. But for the sake of this exercise, we probably do probably do two stocks for the same sector. But of course, you can repeat it for the other sectors. So all you got to do is just get hold of the VSA 360 and you can run this. Of course, you can also try a VSA 360 trial for them. And now depending on the trader profile here, all right, uh, uh, the investor or the trader can choose penny stocks or FA stocks. Now, this is important to know who you really are. As I said before, if you're more of those shorter terms, uh, but very me uh, very uh, have some medium experience to advanced experience, you might want to go for penny stocks, right? More risk, more reward, hopefully that way. But if you are the beginner type, you want to be able to choose those FA stocks. Huh? Smart Roby rating with good stocks and definitely you can find two or three of them in that market leader for that money flowing into that sector in here. All right. So what we're going to do is going to go to the VSA 360 and look for the sector gain uh, sector gainer in here. So let me just uh, let me just show you here. So from here onwards, you click on to screener. Okay, screener and you, you see this one here, sector percentage gain. All right. Go into sector percentage gain and this will look for shares that is has not moved up yet. All right, so we are interested in technology. So let's click on to technology here and you can see technology, technology. Click on that one and we will submit. All right, so we are submit. So whole point of what we are doing here is, okay, here we go. So here we, are, we got the technology and you want to sort out by the easiest way is sort of by the price. We don't want those that is less than 47 cents. So we're gonna go for those that is higher sorted out in here. Now remember we talked about earlier the long-term trend. The long-term trend here is the 200 day moving average trend. Now remember bottom fishing will likely you be buying a lot of those below the 200 day moving. So some of these are nice for picking. So of course the best entry will be LT trend is green and shorter term is true. But remember, now we are buying it early. We are buying at the market bottoming in here. So also you'll notice some of these are semiconductors, 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 which is actually the technology sector. And that's why I really like about. And you can look at it. We have already one month started to move up, which means one month price gain has started more. But in the six months that we've seen before, you can see KSM have fallen 66%. Fallen 18%, Penta have fallen 12%, but now it's covering back in here. All right, so we're going to be looking at some of these uh, stocks in here. I generally don't go too low because I'm more of an FA guy. We want to find something that is good in here. And of course, you can also click on to some of the category. If you are Sharia compliance, okay, uh, some of these are non Sharia compliance. You can click on FA Dido, okay, or click on growth, okay. So, so some of these are, are not in here, but we can see from here onwards, uh, this is a very, very shortened list. You can go down to page two and look at the others too. So you can go to page one. So that will give you some sort of a, a representative of where the market leader is. All right, so from here onwards, uh, I generally want to look for stocks like in the semiconductors, maybe around the uh, Inari, UWC, Great Tech. These are generally the market leader. Let's take a look at Great Tech, okay? So we're going to scan into Great Tech and we want to look at the chart in here. As you can see right now, just blow this up a bit, right? You can see this is a nice uh, uh, double bottom in here, ready to break up. So that tells you Great Tech is moving up nicely. From a chart wise, it's ready to move higher. If you do see money flowing back in, but let's look at the other factors. This uh, is a PE of 36, all right, uh, ROE of 26, okay, so Smart Roby rating is only one. So if it's only one, which means it is not cheap, okay, because the higher of Smart Roby rating, the better the quality in terms of the value you're getting at the time of the price. It's still not cheap, as I haven't said that. Now, also pay notice uh, of the R1 short-term resistance and the R2 short-term resistance because generally we only want to buy when the market can break above the 386 and the 404. And we have a support here now at 330, which is minus 7%. And this is 6% up, all right? So, but like it or not, right, we can put uh, an alert, a watch it alert on this if there's more. But if you look from the chart wise of Great Tech, it's ready to move up. Let's take a look at another one, okay? Inari, okay, this one is down 
Uh, this one, remember, UWC have already moved up 14% for the short-term trend in here. So this one already moved up a bit. So let's look at Inari. Has it moved up yet? You can see here. Again, we're going to bring up this chart. You can see Inari has a nice wash here, right? Now pulling back in here, green Pentagon tonight and started to hold up. This one's not too bad. You can see uh, a nice double bottom. You got two selling but no follow through. On a weekly basis up here, you'll see a two bar reversal and it is taking out the 40 moving average high. So that's a really good one in here. So let's take a look Inari. It has a rating of two, all right? Uh, it pays a 4% dividend and has a ROE of 15%. So that's pretty good. And analyst has it 8th of July, BNB, a call of 375. That is almost a 40% upside. Lead. Can you believe it or not? Even this um, analyst is calling it. So Inari definitely here. And we have seen Inari previously. If you look at the news also, you can scroll right at the bottom here. You can see it has uh, investing. Uh, uh, 283 million uh, increasing the production of US phones in here remain positive uh, set to rebound higher third quarter uh, this is good the third quarter net profit rises 10% so that tells you and recently there was also news of TSMC doing very very well and that's why we see US market continue to rally up. if those guys in the US market did rally earlier on which I showed you the chart these kind of stocks is going to move up higher this is just one example all right Let's look at another one. Uh, this one, uh, 224, okay. Maybe another one, uh, Penta. Penta is the one that I also like. Click on Penta here, okay. Penta is NA, means it's a bit overpriced because you can see the PE is 33 times, no dividend ROE of 13, All right? And uh, chart-wise, let's take a look at the chart-wise here. We don't really need to go over to, to the trading view, okay. You can see turn also green Pentagon, it's very, very similar to Inari, right? The setup, you got spring test. So the market could not go below the $3, breaking up to $3.60 in here. So again, we want to be looking to this market here. Uh, 3%, $3.85 if you want to buy on further take up or if you follow the uh, Pentagon Guider, you can buy on the opening actually today. That's the price you want to be buying if, we, if you think that the money is flowing back into the technology sectors, all right? So those are the three stocks that we review in here. So we have narrowed down and pick up those stocks. Okay, let me just bring this up again, right? Uh, remember the three month, six month columns, right? And we are looking one that has the, uh, we have a pullback, one month pullback, okay? So if you look at here, let me just make this a bit smaller. Going back to here, you can see some of these, uh, Inari has, Six months is 23%, three months is 8%, but one month it is up 2%. So it's slowly, slowly coming back. And also the ST is one. So this uh, Inari, Great Tech, Penta, these are my three current picks for tonight to study as a case that this market, if the money were to flow in, of course, we also talk about consumer and also industrial products here. Huh? So let's go on to our article here which is the trading. So you can sort up by sub-industry and sort by price. And you notice uh, the pigeon look for semiconductors. Now, step five, you want to prepare for the watch list. What we want to be looking for is look for stocks that has a price of 47 cents, volume more than 5,000, turnover at least 250,000. So make sure it is not, not easy. To, I can tell you those three share, if they are market leader, generally they are above 5,000 and above the turnover 250,000 because you want to be looking for liquid stocks okay liquid stocks ensure you're able to get in and get out and more importantly if you're buying at location a which is in end of stage one that will give you the best opportunity to buy so to know where the money is flowing in all right so and then step six we already done it we double check and also you can look at the uh, monthly return which you have not seen so let me just show you that monthly return of great tech you can see inari let's scroll right at the bottom in here and you can see okay from here onwards just pull it to the right hand side you can see every year inari has a yearly return of 18 percent now we got how many months more july august september november this do you think that we're going to be a minus 38 percent what do you think i think unlikely this market 
may recover back. If he, if he does go back to, let's say, year end, a plus 4%, or maybe plus 5%, that is almost a 40% move, isn't it? So don't tell me I didn't tell you, okay? Yeah, right? So we are, you can see from July onwards, and then you can always scroll this back here, right? You can see the monthly return, right? We've been having how many negative months? One, two, three, four, five, six months. And this is the worst performing 6%. After, like we look back in year 2000 and, and uh, 2006, uh, every time we have a big fall, 15%, you get 13%. 6% fall, what are you going to get? Ah, now you know, right? So I will not lead you to a sinkhole. I'll lead you to where the money is flowing into your pocket, right? That's right. Of course, these are why VSA 360 will give you this kind of insights that you will never able to see, unlike with other competitors in here. So that's just one of them. You can also take a look at Great Tank, but you know where I'm leading you to, right? We have the Green Pentagon, and you can see for this one in here, look at that, 137, 156, 45. This year, only minus 54%. Do you think that it's going to end up with a minus 54%? I don't think so. If it does go back to yearly return of 10%, there is another 60% upside for the great tech. And remember, you're buying a great stock. No doubt, it's still slightly pricey from an FA standpoint. But this is why we talk about money. It's like the flow. If we using volume spread analysis, the method to detect smart money, don't you think the smart men also know this? Right? They might want to get in first before the rest of the market is. So think very, very carefully what I've just said here. All right, so I hope those make sense. If it does, give me a thumbs up in here and we're going to be moving up some more. All right, let's go on to, so we've done the, uh, let's go on to my uh, here. So all these are available for our members, this uh, trading rules, and then you prepare the trading plan. So next thing you want to do is switch to a longer time frame. There's some videos in here. You can catch up. There's a link here. I have it in here. Uh, if you want to know the readiness, you can also use the orientation training that we have, which we prepare for you in our knowledge center. So make sure you check that one out in here. But one of the things you can also do is to switch on to the uh, Pentagon Guider here. And uh, here on our plugin, this is a real time, of course, when you get our VSA 360, you also get the full package in here. So let's take a look at Inari, mean for that shares here. All right. And uh, market as well. Let's switch to a weekly chart. You can see weekly chart, right? It actually turned one period. It was green pentagon started to turn up. Then you have this red pentagon in here, but it didn't follow through. So that may be interesting. Okay, let's look at another one. Great tech. Okay, we want to look at it from a weekly standpoint because as I said before, these are very strong company, are market leaders in here. And guess what? It turned green pentagon, but remember we saw the sell-off, right? And then the market sell-off, maybe a bit overdone here but looking to break up. But if it does break to the 382 level, which is the R1 resistance, that would be great. And this one in here, if you go on to uh, the uh, R1, it will be very, very similar, just breaking above the 270 level in here. And it's a lot of big move. If it ever goes up to $4, let's say it doesn't go up to $4, okay, it goes up to potentially 52%. 20% is okay, right? Because why we know that? You look from the yearly yearly seasonal return over six period years. So definitely that will be a lot of opportunity. If you cannot see it yet, let me know, pencil those in and let me help you to see the opportunity that is in front of you in here. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is step eight. Okay, we wanna log into the uh, trading view in here after we saw the weekly chart, right? So next we wanna do is to switch on here. And let's say we wanted to buy this probably at three, two, Okay, 270 because our R1. Okay, let's go to our R1 here and check out our Inari. R1 is a 270, 269, 270. So we go down to our trading view. Okay, 270. Just here, right mouse click and we add on to alert. Okay, so we put two Inari regular crossing only once. Huh? So you put $2.70. Okay, so 270, we create our alert. So it will be in our alert. So 270, you'll be activated in here and you can, and that's how you want to do it. So every time when you put in alert, so make sure you write it down in here. So 270, which is only three cents, you know, 
tomorrow if the Dow Jones, NDX, we saw NDX, which is the NASDAQ break higher. If NASDAQ overnight break another 1.5%, tomorrow show Jalan one. <laughs> so why? Because you have listened to what I've said the week before, where the after market bottoming, the end of stage one, what do you see? The beginning of stage two, which is the markup point. So let's take a look at the uh, great tech. Okay, let's look at great tech now here. And I'm going to go on to great tech. This is Inari. Now, great tech, we are interested in R1, 2386. Okay, 386. So we put the 386 also in the trading view. Okay, let me just bring up 386. Somewhere at three, uh, just around my right mouse click, you copy at 386. Huh? So 386. And then you set the alert just once. Huh? Okay. There you go. So you already set the alert. Day. You set the alert for Great Tank. You set the alert for Inari. You can also do for the industrial product. My best guess is to have one or two per industry. Another one or two for maybe consumer. So if both sides win. And you don't want to be over uh, the mistakes that a lot of people made, which I've seen a few years ago, or more like uh, one and a half years ago. They buy Hatta, they buy Gosa, they buy Top Glove. So don't ever do that, all right? Don't focus too much on the tech stocks. Don't get great tech, uh, Pentech, uh, 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 Inari, U Uchi Tech. Spread out your risk. Diversify a bit, all right? And then you sleep better too. And you also will thank me for this tips that I've given to you. All right, so, uh, so having said that, so we cover all the eight steps that is possible for tonight. Right, and that's really what I want to share with you tonight in here to do the uh, VSA sector rotational trading rules that will put you ahead and knowing what are the new opportunity arrival in here. Okay, so which sector did we talk about just now? Let's recap. We talk about technology sectors. We talk about consumer. All right, and we also talk about industrial. Uh, uh, sectors. This is also on the backdrop of KLCI. What are the stock candidates? Because we only pick one sector due to the time concern. What are the three stocks we discussed? Penta, Inari, and Great Tech. Okay, so those are the three stocks in here. And uh, that, let's do a summary in here. So the whole point about sector rotational is really finding what are the trending, trending stock right now or about to move higher. Okay, so by understanding the market stages, which we share with you on the market uh, last week on the market bottom talk, you have not watched that, go over and watch that one. Then you know which jar money is flowing out, which jar the money is flowing in, right? And of course, the previous market top plantation and energy sectors, those are already no longer in play. Follow where the money is, follow where the uh, flow is going to be in there. Use the Green Pentagon in here, and of course, VSA 360 will help you to identify. Now remember, a lot of the time the stocks or the sector will move up first, and then it will narrate or detect whatever the economic indicator or economic news that is coming up. Remember, everybody was talking about recession, recession, and all of a sudden markets starting to turn up. Then they will start to say, maybe recession. Last week only they said recession will turn fifty percent. Now the market turned up. They said recession will turn less. So why are they saying that? Because the market price and volume will always narrate and tell the economists where to look. So it's better to study the chart and not study the talking head on the TV. Am I right now? If I'm right, put, give, give me a thumbs up in here. I think that's one of the most important sharing that I want to do tonight in here. Jack A, Jack B, and Jack C. So bringing out the best has always been the intention of Trade VSA in here. Now, if you remember, we talked about the Trade VSA 20-day trading challenge, and it has come to an end uh, last Friday, and we are telling up the result in here. And to my surprise, this Saturday, we will announce to the, the live trading challenge, right, the members that will be winning. And surprisingly, this figure. Now, remember, right, we are at the market most bearish point, and yet, many of our students have done very well. And this is due to the levels of training that they have done through and their dedication in using their skills developed over time using the VSA in here. And I think you can also too. Now, if you have not joined our program in here, do join it because you'll be surprised what you'll learn in this new opportunity, in this new car. And something that I've shared with you, the VSA 360, that will benefit you all, right? So, Next week, we'll be announcing to the public 
their results in here. You'll be really surprised what we have seen in here. And of course, if you bring a friend for our existing member and you renew, you get a 60, you need to pay 65%. So unlike many other tools out there, VSA 360 focus many, many things. And tonight we are just talking about the VSA sector screener, which you don't see many elsewhere in here. Of course, I'm Martin here, creator of the Pentagon Guider in here. A simple, simple tool to tell you when the market is likely to go up and the market is likely to come down. And uh, tonight, of course, I always want to share with you, if you give us a feedback on the Google review in here, that's a QR code. Guess what? You have a chance to win 1,000 ringgit worth of VSA free month membership. Now, that's right. So just share with us on the Google feedback. That's all in less than 200 words. Your feedback, what are the things you learned tonight on our Google review? That's a QR code. And you stand a chance to win 1,000 ringgit worth of VSA free month membership. What do you have to lose? We have a lot to share and you have a lot to learn and less benefit if this market were to go up. And of course, for those of you who really want to know, try out our VSA 360 10 day trial in here. Fill up the QR code in here. No obligation. You don't need to purchase or whatever, but we want to make sure we give you a reason why we are one of the best tools out there that are able to help people to make money easily and more importantly, with discipline, with a trading plan. You have seen how we share with you the VSA 360 sector rotational trading rules. And it's available for our members at the Knowledge Center uh, uh, VSA 360 in here. And of course, if you are ready, you can subscribe to our system in here, right? For low price of two ringgit per day, giving you a first mover advantage for the VSA 360 and the US market in here. And don't forget to join our Telegram chat room for free stock market information and share that in your group. So that's all I have for tonight. If you have any question that you want me to uh, help you to answer them, just pencil those in there. All right, if not, thank you for coming and thank you for sharing this video in your time. And I wish you all the best. Remember, the market is starting to turn up tonight. Still not too many people yet. So not many people is aware this market is going on. As we go on to further months, August, September, when the market gets a bit warmer, it's getting hotter, you'll see more and more people coming to the market. And like I said before, we told you already. So continue to share our lesson learned in here and do share your takeaway tonight and get a chance to win uh, three prizes of VSA membership worth 1,000 ringgit. With that, thank you and good night. I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.